The target practice range is a great way to work on all elements of your game, including wedge play. So simply go to the practice link and virtual, select the target practice range, and practice. Once you've selected one of the standard distances, you're able to easily change it. So if you select the golf ball on the T icon, it lets you change the location. So here we had 90 yards. I can click here, move it up to 86, 85. Notice on the right side of the screen, though, you get an overview of a larger portion of the practice area. If I click on this location, now I'm 62. Done. Now I've got a 62-yard shot to that same pin location. Of course, we all have those shorter green side shots. There's an easy way that you can set those up as well. Simply select the T icon, and now I'm going to click on the overview and just click off the green. So now I've got a 21 yard pitch into the T and you'll notice when I select done then it's going to indicate the spin and the power because you're coming out of the rough. So when you practice this type of a shot you're going to expect, expect a lot more rollout just like you do on a, in a regular shot because there's less spin. If I want to again, adjust it again for a slightly different carry then let me go over here Now I've got 18 yards 12 yards, back to 18. You can come all different angles. Here's one where I've got to get over a slope on the green and make sure that I land it on the proper tier. So you're really able to dial in all types of different wedge play scenarios from you know ones that are back in the 60, 70, 80 yard range all the way right next to the green by changing the position of where you put uh, the ball.